We are still dealing with some foggy conditions across the inland northwest this morning. Shouldn't last for too much longer nor all day, but certainly is very intense where that fog has settled into some of our area valley. So we'll be tracking that through the first part of this weather cast. Otherwise, the big news is that we will finally be hitting 70 degrees later on this week. These are live pictures at downtown Spokane. Usually the pavilion and riverfront park are visible in this particular picture, but it's not because that is how thick the fog is currently. But if you're looking straight up, you can see some sky as the fog itself is thinning and burning off from the top down because of that sunshine that is starting to come into play. But again, in our area of valleys in the low lying areas, kind of right through the I-90 corridor through downtown. This is the, the near the Division Street exit. You can see the headlights of the oncoming traffic, but otherwise the visibility is quite poor. Now, meanwhile, on the other side of the state line into North Idaho and your Coeur Vet Veterans Memorial Bridge, this is good to go and clear. A little bit of that, again, low lying cloud cover that you can see in the distance there, but looks like the fog is starting to burn off. Here at our South Hill Studios, where we're about 400 feet of elevation, a little bit higher. Well, now that sun has burned off that top layer of the cloud cover and the fog. So conditions have improved greatly here on the hill, but is still lagging behind in downtown Spokane. Same story out of Airway Heights where the visibility is still three quarters of a mile being reported, but we've seen significant improvements in Deer Park and in some areas across the inland northwest. I only think this will last for about another hour or so at most for today, but is a result of that heavy rain that came through last night. You probably heard the thunder between seven and eight o'clock last evening, and that is the rain and now the moisture that supplied for this fog that we're seeing this morning, but that's not going to last all day. Temperatures will still be in the mid 60s for this afternoon and another mostly cloudy day. And it's actually going to be mostly cloudy for a couple days ahead of us, but at least quite warm. Tomorrow I go right at 70 degrees, which is right at average temperatures for this time of year. And Thursday, 76 should be a no doubter to finally hit 70 degrees for the first time this year. Again, the latest we've ever gone into the season and into the year without having hit 70 degrees up to this point. So that record will be set if it's tomorrow, the 25th, if it's Thursday, the 26th of the month. More rain chances Thursday night into Friday and then again Sunday and Monday. The Memorial Day weekend is looking quite cool for the region with those temperatures in the low to mid 60s.